Do it first or close? Uh, overhead, please. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. That's up. Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Planet Craft. And I'm going to finish off some of these card designs so you can see a few of the different ways that I work with scan and cut. So. I've put my two coloured images on my mat and I'm going to cut them out but I might do a couple little tricks with them so I'm just deciding so while we're waiting I'm going to have a think and wait for people to join in because I know we're missing a few at the moment swap it to Yes, please. Thank you. So, let's have a look, see what we've got that we can play with for a change. You could use just like individual elements from a pattern, so this is a good place to start. Just looking for a bit of a funky shape, but um, Zena said afternoon. Afternoon, Zena. Hmm, that might work if it was up the other way, maybe. Chris says, do they ever put new designs on our machines? Sometimes with the updates, don't they? It's very rare though. But it is rare, yeah. Very, very rare. Which is a shame. Because I don't always want to be showing you how to do stuff with USBs and everything, but um, the DXs have far more shapes on it than the ECM range do. So we're getting out of this way, aren't we? So we are. Slacking. Mm. Need to uh, get it up tomorrow. Hello, yes. Sarah Lou. So, I'm trying to decide what shape I'm going to go for. I want to do something a bit different, but I'm trying to find something that's going to fit. This is a bit of a Rotate it. Um, I'm going to grab a ruler. No, just because I picked up the scale ruler, make sure I get the right one, else I'll be doing it in metres. <laughs> Do it so, in metres. Yeah, 32 metres. Won't fit on that. So just around about 18 centimetres. So that's 180 millimetres. A bit too far. And width wise, looking at about 8. So definitely need to change the ratio using our arrow button. I'm going to shrink that right down to. So that should be close enough, so I'll set that and I'll do a background scan. So put it in the middle of your image and then when you do your resizing you won't have to adjust the space too much. Now we know that we need to change ratio so we push our uh, two arrow button. A bit more just to make sure that we 
get a bit more nofo. And then if we zoom in. Okay, it wants to go up a little. Do you want to sort that out? <laughs> okay, so while Ian's sorting out the camera, I'm just going to cut that first one and then I can move it out of the way before doing with the second one. If we then go back, and we know we've now done this one, so uh, let's for this one go around a rectangle would look good. So I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go to the rotate button again, rotate it 90 degrees. And we know that our other one was about 190. So I think it's probably about the same again. Okay, we have a bit from 95, so let's check that on our mat. Probably want to go a little bit wider this time. So about ten and a half because I want to actually get this faded edge this time. So again, I'm going to press my little two more rows. Oh, we're back working again. Okay, and set. And I can bring that in. I'm going to just adjust that height a little bit more. You don't want to go off the edge of your card though. It's about there. So I'm happy with that. Just want to go to cut the figure out as well. The only thing that puts me off doing that is a little area in here. Well, let's, see if, let's see if it'll do it now. No, we'll just, just, we'll so we've already got that shape so we can just delete that. Okay. I'll do like a, a panel within a panel. Yeah we can do that. So another round of rectangle. Again. I'm just going to zoom in. I have to excuse that moment, it's just um, missed a call, but uh, my phone's not on just, just to, it'll come back in a second. 
Do you want to flick over to that one? Then? It's alright, it's back now. Was it? I don't know. It didn't come off. It's obviously because it was time delayed. I couldn't. Oh, okay. so I can see how the alignment's working so it needs to nudge up a little bit okay still looking awfully close and so might just take a bit of that height actually So next I need a sheet of white card. Um, what size? Yeah, just a four stamping card, just something that I can... What I'll do is I'll cut it out first and then I can colour it after. Stomach card to my map. We go. Okay. Home. Okay. And retreat from the cloud. Don't worry about the fact that your scan's still there. If you're not going to do another background scan and it's getting in your way, you can just go off. Okay. So. I'm using an A4 piece, so I need these pieces over here to come over. So I'm just going to use the multi select tool, drag my little selection box over and go OK. OK again. I'm going to go to my arrows just because it's slightly easier to do it this way and keep everything together. 
Okay, so I always count my squares. So I know that I'm going to stay within my card. Um, because there's very little point trying to scan a white piece of card. And let's put a little plus sign right in the middle of my magic. It looks weird. Okay. So hopefully we can cut all that and it should be a good draw. Yep, yeah, draw first. Shouldn't have tidied up, should I? one I think we need a nice bright blue or a bright pink oh again bright pink okay thank you so the pen that Ian has picked is a Papermate Inkjoy liquid 0.5 nib so these are really good because they've got a nice metal fine tip so if you're using normal fine liners, i.e. The, the nylon tip ones, just be aware it will give you a flat end to your fine liner, no matter how light you go with your pressure. So by swapping to the metal ones, we're ensuring that we don't have to deal with that problem. I'm sure it does because it's a needle point. Yeah. So one good thing about uh, them is that they will they don't really clog like some do. Okay, so we go okay, okay again and draw. And then we can go. And it's coming up with this because we're using the um Carl's 3D pen holder. That's fine. Okay, so at the moment that's outlined that. And if at this point we think, oh, actually, it could have done with it filling in, then we could fill it if we wanted to. Or we can just go, actually, we can just manage to do that by hand. I'm going to keep that pen over here and I'll put it by hand after we've cut everything. Do you want to do your little competition bit? You need to pick those up off there. <laughs> I picked those up off there for a reason, but not the reason you were thinking. Alright, okay. But you can do anyway. Um, yeah, don't forget if you do want to enter our competition um, for our wonderful prize of some 3D fun prints. Um, Pen holders, we've got the universal pen holder and the um, Sharpie. Sharpie pen holder, thank you, I forgot what, which one it was. Um, we have got a few of them available and there are going to be some extra bits popped in as well to get you started with your pens, uh, your pen holder, sorry. Um, all you have to do is put a piece of artwork that's been inspired by something we've taught or shown you, taught you, take your pick, um, over the lockdown. Yes. Duration you have until Monday? Uh, well, Sunday night. Sunday isn't night, it? sorry, yes. Close to Sunday night, so you have until Sunday night to uh, enter the competition and we'll pick a couple of random winners. Um, uh, not random. Eh? Not random. Well, they will be, because uh, otherwise it would be like we were doing it on purpose. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But no, we will, we'll we'll pick some winners, won't we? Yes. Um, but if you do want to enter, all you have to do is put a a photo up or send us a file like Tracy had to <laughs> to put it up on the um, photos on the group, and there's a folder on the photos for competition entries, and you can put your photos in there. Okay. So I'm going to let this cut.
as we are magical. So we can always cut that out and use that uh, for a separate project if we want to. Now, very, 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 very carefully. This is ultra, ultra, ultra fine. And this is why I love the metallic spatula to the, compared to the plastic one. Because you have this really fine cut and if you were trying to do it, take it off of the plastic one it would kind of split the edge of it rather than lift it off. So. There you go. Fine as fine can be. <laughs> And there's our pretty one. And everything else can just come off the mat. This is going to stick to me today rather than anything else. <laughs> okay. going down a bit and it's on minus five already. <laughs> mm. I pulled a bit on that really fine one. Mm. So. Okay. Swap to reverse now. Uh, yeah, I think so for now. Take me roll a bit because I've changed sheet. Brush. 
So one of the benefits of cutting what you um, want for your card out right size is that you can make it match your panel that you've already stamped. So you want to be fairly careful because obviously while it's still loose it's still kind of flexible. And on this top there I'm just going to do some splodges to mirror the background. And before I go too far, just because I don't want to, want to contaminate my colours, going to give on that a quick clean. It won't be perfect but it'd be close enough and get the brush a good scrub. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the picked raspberry. And I'm just going to do one dot of this because I want to leave room for some peacock feathers as well. So again, give him that a quick clean. No blending mat will do, you don't have to use the sponge mat. So you always start off your piece and then blend it in. Okay, so for my next layer, I could leave it white or I might want to go blue. So, if we look at it layered up. I think I might just go for the uh, blueprint sketch in the very background and let that white just pop out that party section. So another quick clean. I think just to mimic that uh, guitar a little bit more, I'm just going to add in a little bit of the raspberry to get that purple shade that we've got. Any questions? No, they all very quiet this afternoon. Chilling after Leslie's. So. Yeah. Thank you. It was looking good. I have to say, I, I, I was fancy going and having a go. I've done it before.
all with like um, white pigment ink. I haven't tried the gesso technique on crafts, so I might have to go and try that after her, uh, I finish streaming. I right, got to kind of knuckle down and get my work done first as well. Getting a bit behind. <laughs> Transmitting elsewhere. I'm just going to dampen a bit of bamboo to wipe my fingers off on. So what is everybody doing next week? Are you still all going to be watching or have you all got to go back to work or? change my mind and colour over the top but yep just gonna just fill that text in in the middle uh, Tracy's gonna still be watching cool uh, Zena says she'll still be here watching she's retired cool Christine Malcolm has joined in and asked, what's the mat called that you're working on? It's a splodge mat, but any blending mat will do. Um, now, Leslie was showing a different one that Chocolate Brock do, um, which is like a kind of non-stick sheet, isn't it? Yeah. The A4 ones? Yeah, and they're cool. Um, pack of five, wasn't it? Four pounds, as she said. Pack of four for five pounds, wasn't it? No, pack of five. Oh, Leslie, if you're watching, just let me know. <laughs> if not, I'll have a quick note. Um, but also, if you've got a gas mat, you can do the same techniques with it as well. So, I want a bit of sponge sugar on that one now. Purples that we were using yesterday. Uh, the branding brushes are from Amazon and cost just under ten pounds for a set.
So I'm now going to have them just quite soft. And then Dusty Kong goes at the other end of the spectrum. So what I usually do is I just tap a bit off to start with because you don't want to go full strength straight away. contrast. So just because we're going to be sticking something nice and fine. Mm. There we go. So what I'm going to do so I'm just going to do a few dots on this little swirl, where the glue will let me. <laughs> Come on, there we go. I'm going to put a bit on, out of my hand as well. So I'm just going to pat it out a bit. Just because. You alright? Yeah, I can't find it at the moment on the website. So. Okay, well, well, we'll ask Leslie after. And yeah. I'll pop it up on the, probably on the main page actually. So, I'm going to work with the big section first. Um, yeah, the question we asked was just what people are up to next week, if they'll still be watching, or if people are going back to work, or... Yeah, because I know that it's different for everybody, depending on... Situation. Yeah, yeah situation, industry, you name it. But there's any work to go back to. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, as it stands at the moment, Ian's still going to be here one way or another. Yep. So, Molly's here, we may as well make use of him, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get a vanilla latte. You want to have a caramel latte get that? Oh, yes. Salty That's caramel. still, yeah, salty caramel. Mmm. -hmm. So, this is Olby here, Lady of Leisure. <laughs> <laughs> So just where things are lifting up a little. Uh, well, a the little. cow will be the same actually, I would have thought. Detail blue application, I'm just going to just brush it underneath the, the bits that are being troublesome. Same with this C here. Okay. That's the thing we'll deliver, isn't it? I don't think so. Set that to uh, one side to dry. Clean your hand, would be a good start. Peel it off. <laughs> yeah, Crafters Exfoliating Kit, yeah, PVA. Right. <laughs> that, no. So, it has to be there to look after a very lazy greyhound. I'm sure they're not that lazy. Okay, I'm just before I'm going to layer these up because there's this little tiny hole section. It looks like you know the machine didn't quite do it, but it did. 
it's just still stuck in there so I'm just going to give it the helping hand out of the backing. Very small. Very, very small. Tiny. There you go, proof that it doesn't have to be <laughs> three millimetres or larger. Oh, we already know that, don't we, from all the miniature uh, books and stuff, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That was fun, though, wasn't it? Yeah, the miniature books are fun. Uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to do next week. Doing some little miniature books, because they're funky. I sleep all day except walk over the life. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the dogs? <laughs> I tease, I tease. I'm sure they still like to go for a, a quick run every so often. Probably then, you know. Get back in, food, sleep. switch to uh, close up and I can oh you didn't tell me I was just off spring doing that. I'll sleep late. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't notice. There you go. So close up. You can see your white tech knife. <laughs> Eat, sleep, walk, repeat, apparently. <laughs> I passed you earlier, please, sweetie. Gone to the special tub. He's pushing the boat out. <laughs> oh, what's we getting? Here you go. Hold the break. Talk to your uh, loyal followers. Why? How, how much are you digging in? <laughs> Do the same thing with the bin where you, you dive in, you just got two little feet sticking there. Mm. Mm, nah. So, um, you'll have to uh, let us know what sort of um, techniques you'd like us to cover. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. This one. Okay. So I think I might go 
them, I think. I might go slightly funky with the actual cutting of it. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to get rid of this dummy section. Dummy section? Yeah, it's got like a, a piece in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. even with the damaged stuff. That's what it's embossing for does it for. <laughs> I might go that side actually. So then we can balance that out. Oh. So this is love the colours. Uh, the dogs are retired after all. Uh, one of ours did 133 races and won 75% of the races. Uh, but in the top three, 98 percent of the time, I think they deserve a life of a legend now. Yeah. We didn't race them, just love them now. So. Yeah, they deserve lots of cuddles. And the piece of card that I'm just rescued out in the drawer is a rainbow mirror card from Trimcraft. It's the holographic card. Oh, there you go. Just drink grass, Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's currently available on Amazon. Oh, there you go. I was looking at it the other day, as you do. That drawing. Yeah. Like as you do on Amazon. Mm. We have some very, very nice vinyl, don't we, to play with. So that's oh, going to yeah. be one nice project for some point, even next week or the week after, isn't it? Yeah, depending when we decide what to do with it. <laughs> so just because there's a scratch here, doesn't mean you don't use a card, it just gives you a position where you're going to put your little bit of text. And I think I'm going to go 3D, so in which case, before I go any further, I'm going to grab a card blank just because I can reach this one. <laughs> so you don't have to go for an adaptable, but... Uh, uh, it's not quite big enough. Okay. I know where I'm going next then. <laughs> ding -a -ding -a -ding. Oh. No, they're all cream. Out the way. <laughs> Try to get you to get colours like. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to go with that to make it pop. 
thing would definitely look wrong because we've included that white highlight so okay so we're going to go slightly larger than a width and a four so probably around 215 to 220 millimeters. I'm just going to eyeball it back there. Tracy says it's red. It's not red, trust me. <laughs> might come across red on the screen, but it's definitely not red. <sighs> I would say red is what you get post boxes, but uh, might not be in Australia, I don't know. There's a question I think I'll be asking myself today. What colours are post boxes in Australia? I might just score it in half. Tracy asks, what colour is it? Huh? What colour is it? What, the card? Yeah. It's like raspberry. It's not really fuchsia, it's more raspberry. Wait for the raspberry sweat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can we say? Oh, whatever. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, press the wrong button. Ah, it's alright. Okay, so, but I'm a bit wonky. Never mind. Okay. So it's not the thickest card to do a card bank from, but we can reinforce it. And is it just that you can trim that very straight or something? Because like that's straight buttoned. Let's do a quick trim. Just because I'm going to be picky. I'm trying to say whatever colour you want them to be. What do we think? 3D panel or not 3D panel? Okay. It's white, 
floating on top. We have a, a few different colours, don't we, at the moment? Because have we still got the gold ones? I think. Yeah. We got a blue one somewhere. There's a purple one. They're standard, they're red, though, aren't they? Yes, but they just painted the one by um, Captain Tom, haven't they? I think. I'm sure, I saw that somewhere on Facebook. Because they painted that blue one. Yeah, an HS one, yeah. Hmm? An yeah, HS one? Yeah, I know. Because he's obviously raised all the money for the NHS, so it's blue. Yes. You thought they'd done it rainbow for him, so. Oh, that'd be funky, wouldn't it? The rainbow post box. Mm. Now, I'd normally go all the way around these edges, but just for today. Yeah, for that short screen that you were doing it to. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not streaming tomorrow afternoon though. Otherwise I'm never gonna get anything done. So now I've got to knock with that and do something tomorrow. There you go. Zena has a gold post box in Macclesfield. Yay. So everything up to the middle of my A is going to have one level and from the middle of my A to the P is going to have two. I'm watching you intently seeing that. Not watching the screen. Not watching the screen. <laughs> I'm just fascinated as everybody is. So if you wanted to, before you started putting all this together, you could have used your stencil to actually emboss the same pattern into the side of your card here. So, if you haven't done stencil embossing, let me know in the comments. Because that might be a good one to show. There's a couple of techniques that we can do with embossing stencils actually. take our time to over to the side, we could take it to the middle or we can take it over to one side over here so I'm going to put it so it overlaps the joint. Does that feel right? Mm -hmm. I'm just moving it up a little bit so when you do do things so not. Thank you. Missing off the bottom. So all of you blue mats now on screen again. One, one more quick one and this will be quick so can you just grab me a, a thingy 
think it's yeah, I opened my hand at one point. Oh dear. Just you put it back over there. Just because I said I would, so I will. So with this one, I'm gonna work down to the one end of my gap. need a bigger desk. <laughs> so bring that in. We really should have done this in a circle and then I could put this in the in the round competition on this uh, group. It's got a circle in it, isn't it? It's an oval. No in the middle. I suppose it has a moon. <laughs> Why are they called adaptable? Uh, because they don't come with any folds in, so they're actually set that you can change them into different, make different types of cards with them. Yeah, so it gives you three different ways of using them on the front, and then you can actually create more beyond that. Yeah, so they just come as a, a long sheet of cards. So if you're being frugal with your <laughs> card, at this point you can cut out the oval from out of the centre and use that inside your card. So it's really called a card stock. It's because they're cut specific size, so they're cut so 8x8, 12x12, 8x8, 6x6 and Yeah, do you want to just grab a 6x6 six 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 so, uh, so that you can see the packet? Um, oh, there you go. Stick it under a camera. Hence they come with a wardrobe folder, a tri-fold or a half-fold. But you can turn them into easel cards, you can turn them into step cards if you want. The choice is yours. Hence they're adaptable. Um, they don't come with envelopes, for obvious reasons. Because they don't know what size you're going to use them for. Um, which is another reason why I like them, because otherwise I just get run over with envelopes. While I make cards, I'm very bad at sending them. Very, very bad. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here. And you can always save that bit for another frame for another card if you want to. So all these little scraps and things are good starting points for your next project. So when you say that where I get my inspiration from, sometimes it's a case of it's a follow through from another project, which then goes into another one, that goes into another one, so on and so forth. Until suddenly, you know, I think the most cards I've ever made in a weekend is something like 70, <laughs> which I know given the length of my streams must be like, ah. <laughs> can't believe that one. <laughs> but it's a bit more of a... When you get into the flow. Okay, so I'm going to lift that one up. Probably these two or three levels actually. I'm going to need the six two ones over there. I'll buy the extra deep. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Right. Okay. I'm holding it. <laughs> The other thing is because there's no scoring to the cards and there's no envelopes, it means that there's a lot less work that goes into manufacturing them, which means they're actually cheaper to buy. Yeah, they're thicker than the tape. The tape's quite thin. I'll stop. 
still double them up though. Just because. Foam always makes me think of I had this really fancy allegedly handmade card for I think it was my 21st or something. Oh, yeah, I'm not, oh, it's oh back. okay. So, as I said, 3D foam always makes you think of this really intricate sort of allegedly handmade card that I had for my 21st or something. I can't remember which birthday it was. And uh, I was looking closely at it one day. And I couldn't believe this, but they literally doubled up a couple of 3D foam pads like this. And then, no word of a lie, they'd left the backing paper on and then splodged glue on top and then stuck it to the card and expected it to stay there. <laughs> it's like, okay, so you just peeled off. And it's like, and this card probably cost a fair a bit to buy. And I was just like flabbergasted. Rather than peel off the 3D tape, just splodge some glue on it because it's quicker. And the joy of doing it like this is that if you want to slide in some flowers, especially if they've got stems, you can do and you can just pop them in. What the, the it's not necessarily quicker to just glue it <laughs> rather than peel it off. The thing is it, it the only time that really gets me is if you're doing like the really fine fiddly ones and you're in the middle of a demo and you're just like, oh come on, I just need to get this one hundred little tiny bits of squares off. And if you're using those, it's nine times out of ten, it's on something delicate, so you can't rush. And just to help me out, I'm going to stand up so I can align it. And hopefully, there we go. So the reason that we do that extra offset is it actually hides the hole that we've cut the tree from. So unless you actually go looking right in there, you can't see it. Ta-da! And we can then put it onto our card mount. Now you can see that it's going to be bigger than our card and that's fine because what I'm going to do is actually do it as an easel. So. Go Let's try and get it put in a threefold. So I'll 
piece is eight eight actually. Usually I do this with seven by seven, so let's just check. That's not the shoe. Oh, that's crazy earlier, I've got the map the wrong way around. So 15 and 3 quarters. So if I go The longest flap is going to be the base flap. When we put our weight on the front, that will help that. So what I might do, just to make a point of it being larger, is I'm going to stick it slightly higher than our fold. because I don't really want to be using the fine one. Is that putting me upside down to you? Hmm? Is that putting me upside down to you? Yes. And at some point I'll cut a little overstopper um, just down here that I'll probably put a little bit of flour to match. And I think I'm going to put the friend level and 3D up my thank you. Maybe. 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 Actually, so let's go. A little bit of tape so it's 
raised up a lot too much. card up on the group as usual so if you're not a member please do join and uh, we try to you know, put a few fun bits and pieces on there regularly don't we so we do and I still have a freebie to do I haven't forgotten stop when it's done. Yeah. Any questions before we go? No. 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 Okay. Well, I'll finish these up. Um, get them up on the group. Might even get around to putting them on the blog at some point. You never know. Oh dear. And then I will see you all tomorrow morning at 11 when I'm going to be doing um, a bit of work with offsetting and dies. Uh, so if you're into your die cutting that would be a good one for you to join in on or if you fancy doing um, a bit of work with offsetting. Then tomorrow afternoon we're going to take the afternoon off because we have our course on Saturday morning that we're running. So if you're interested in that course, it's on Affinity Designer this week. Um, it's £15 to join in for three hours and there will be um, some little hints and tips that are going up on the private group for that session. So to join us, all you need to do is go to the events page on Plannercraft go to the top event and then follow the link from there to make a payment. And we'll see you tomorrow at 11. Bye for now.